Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 14, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you will start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we had a fairly good day today. We're above, uh, rallied above 1%, and uh, the 50 moving average looks like it was basically the bottom of this market. So there is a lot of new basically bad news out there that this market is basically going to crash and inflation and inflation inflation and uh, yeah inflation is part of the game but inflation will not on its own completely crash the market um, if you look at the bond market for example it is still well still holding um, and hasn't really moved that much and uh, that will be much more uh, negative for uh, for the Nasdaq and some of these other indices if that continues to rise. But at the moment, uh, we haven't seen some uh, significant rises in the in the bond market. But inflation, yeah, we have inflation. But but uh, but if you look at the, for most of the commodities and precious metals and so on, and um, the metals market, they are also declining substantially at this current stage. And therefore, some inflation will also decline. So if we look at the S&P 500, we can see that the uh, technical English MACD is still bearish. The stochastic is bearish. CCI is turning around uh, significantly here, still in bearish territory. And the RSI is bullish at this point. So it looks like we are going to head back towards uh, 4,200. 4, and if that, after that, probably the 4,400, which basically was our target. Breakdowns from here, we'll probably have a pullback before the market opens tomorrow, but the 50 moving average has held significantly. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar here, hit the 50 moving average and then bounced. You look at technical indicators, they are fairly bearish still. The MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is turning around here, is still bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. Break above the middle of the bullish band, well, that opens the door to uh, 34,691. And probably our target here will be 30, uh, 35,000. Uh, break down from here, 50 moving average will most likely be our major support. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So tech has to try to rally. We're up uh, 13,130. Four at this current stage, fairly good uh, rally, but I think there is some room to the downside, or there's at least a massive amount of risk that this may fall towards the 200 moving average. That would make sense. Uh, probably uh, that's near where we fell the last time. The 50, uh, 200 moving average is at 12,500. It is a possibility, but still there is life here, and there is basically Friday, and usually things rally on Friday. That is the most common thing that we'll see that is basically rallies on Friday. So if we um, get fairly good uh, numbers tomorrow, then we may see this continue rallying. But we'll probably run into resistance at the 50 moving average, the 20 exponential moving average, and especially the middle of the bullish band here. So 13,700, give or take, is probably where we'll run into major resistance. As we saw here, we did rally up to at that point and then just completely broke down. So we may see something similar happening tomorrow or the next few trading days, and then a breakdown towards the 200 moving average. That is possible. Otherwise, we could also just break above the to the middle of the bullish band and head all the way down up towards 14,000, which is the all time highs. If you look at technical indicators, they are still bearish, but they are turning around. MACD is very bearish. It is, we had a very good day today, and uh, the stochastic, for example, is turning around, crossing the signal line, indicating uh, uh, bullish momentum. CCI is also turning around here, but we saw a very similar move here and then just broke down. So we may head towards minus 100 and then break down again. If we break above a minus 100, then we can go to zero and then to a 200. And then we have another bullish run similar to what we saw here in this move. Um, RSI is a bullish at this point and we are fairly low. We're also significantly overstretched. So another bullish run tomorrow would not be surprising. So let's look at the German DAX. 
So German DAX had a really good, uh, really good uh, rally after this absolute shocking uh, start. So when I saw this start, I thought we were going absolutely going to break towards 14,500, probably all the way down to the 200 member gauge. But all of a sudden, it turned around, hit the middle of the bullish band, and that is where we have settled, 15,219. Technical indicators are still very bearish, so we may see a pullback towards the 50 moving average before rallying higher, but this was a very impressive move by the DAX. So let's look at the UK 100. So very similar here, we fell completely apart at the beginning of the session, fell roughly 2%, and then it's absolutely rallied, creating this hammer, a very bullish candlestick. However, technical indicators are still very bearish. If we get a, a green candlestick above here tomorrow, then we're probably going back towards the 7,000 and beyond that. However, technical years, as I said, are still very bearish. So let's look at China 50. So China 50 tried to rally up towards the 20 exponential and then lost everything. So um, yes, not a really good day for Chinese tech stocks. Uh, and you can see that here. If you look at technical indicators, they are favoring the upside. The stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is uh, fairly bullish at this point, while the MACD is technically flat. So still break above the 50, then we are going higher, break below the low, the 200 moving average, then it's possible that we'll drop towards 16,000. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and good luck and thank you very much.